hello welcome to our youtube channel selection fish shop in today's video i'll be talking about this apathic plant called wofia wofia is the tiniest plant on earth so i'm going to be telling you more about this plant the important benefits of this plant and how well this plant can help you substitute the palleted artificial feed for fish and how well this plant can be produced or cultured in our respective farms or in an extra tank at the back of our home or anywhere that you have a space a container that can hold water wofia plant is the tiniest plant on earth it have a particle size or a granule size that is almost as small as a grain of a sugar this wofia plant have high protein content and can be able to replace soybean to a large extent it have a protein content of 42 percent protein then this plant is actually a rootless plant it grows on top of a water a nutrient rich water a water that have more of nitrogen but that is why it's well suited for our wastewater from the tank. This plant actually have the ability to reproduce itself for 100%. What it means is if you have a 5 kg weight of wofia that you introduce in a nutrient rich water, it have the ability to reproduce itself to a weight of 5 kg in a period of 36 to 42 hours. And I've been conducting this research on this wofia plant. If I introduce this plant to this water or to this small tank, this is actually a small tank where I discharge the wastewater from my tank to so and I actually have to increase the nutrient content by adding poultry waste to it and I found out the productivity is more when the water have more nutrients in it so the quantity of wolfia I introduced to this pond was just at the half of this container. So I introduced this wolfia one week ago, that is seven days, and it was just in a very small portion of the pond. And after a week, I found out that it had been able to dominate the whole surface area of the pond. I'm going to focus more on the plant so i can be able to observe in this particular pond we have two type of plants we have the duckweed please you need to understand that these two plants are not the same the duckweed is the plant that have the flower this is the duckweed the duckweed actually is this particular plant that is flowering so oh, this is a duckweed. So this is a duckweed plant. This is actually a duckweed. And most times they mix together with the wolfia. And the duckweed actually have a root. You can see the root and it grows on top of a water. And it actually have a lower protein content. Actually the duckweed might have mixed up 
from this particular tank that we grow our dog with that our fish feed on because you find out that you have two aquatic plants in this particular culture container but for the purpose of this video i'm talking about this other plant called wolfia this is the wolfia plant The wolfia plant is, is actually rounded, rootless. It's more like it have this texture of more like the mustard seed when you feel it. But it's a plant. It grows and it reproduces on its own in the presence of nitrogen rich water. The other nutrient that is required but more of nitrogen so the wolfia plant is actually a wonderful plant and we are going to try to reproduce this particular wolfia plant in bigger tanks so i'm going to take some of this wolfia and i'm going to take it to a bigger container let's see how this plant can be able to reproduce itself and how long it's going to take to delimitate the surface area of the pond. We are only majorly concerned with the surface area of the pond because the wolfia plant grows on top of the water. So the volume of the water is not actually of importance. We are only interested in the nitrogen and the nutrients composition of the water and we are also interested in sunlight because this is actually a plant and there are some conditions that must be necessary for this particular plant to grow so you now we are going to compare the preference between wolfia and duckweed to the fish let's see which that is of more preference to the fish and we are going to also give you update on how fast the wolfia can reproduce to the duckweed actually it's obvious that the wolfia and duckweed can actually coexist in a particular tank and as we can see this particular tank is holding both the wolfia and the duckweed and we find out that all of them are growing in the same tank and are all productive in this particular tank so Furthermore, we also observed that in the last video that I did, that there were just fewer, the, the wolfia were just in a very little portion of the pond, and over time you find out that it have actually dominated and saturated the pond. Some of the green things you see here are all the wolfia plants. You can see them. You can see them. So this wolfia is actually prolific in nature, and they have a high reproduction rate so they reproduce more rapidly so we are going to try to transfer some of this wolf here to a bigger space let's see how well it can be able to reproduce thank you